fun. All right, we're here with Will. Will, you had something you want to say about how you feel betrayed? Yeah, on a final note, I've been a taxpayer more than half my life. And I am in one of the nastiest, nastiest homeless shelters in the world because of my injuries. Because of no fault of mine, just my injuries. But illegals come over in this country, migrants come over in this country, and they get to stay in a hotel and collect the paycheck. And jump the border illegally. And jump the border illegally, get here, and collect the paycheck. How does it make you feel? Make me feel. Make me feel betrayed, screwed. Like, 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 I, like, like, like your family just crapped on you. Right. Our country is betrayed us. On you. We didn't ask for these people. We don't know where they're coming from. We don't know who's paying for them to come here. And then once they reach the border, our nonprofit agencies, Catholic charities and others, ask them what city they want to go to. They need to go back to where they came from because they serve no purpose here. They have no negotiable skills. It's not yeah. going to help America. It's going to cost us money and destroy our city. Now, I know I keep saying this in all the video I posted regarding what's happening in New York, but New Yorkers, y'all voted for this. God bless you. I stated several months ago that we have reached full capacity. And that full capacity was verbalized, and now New York is just going to be visually actualized. Uh, we're going to see how much of our cup has basically runneth over. We have no more room in the city, and we need help. Move meant to address the migrant crisis. The mayor announced yesterday that adult asylum seekers will be evicted from the city's shelters after 60 days. Here's a look at the migrant crisis in New York City by the numbers. Right now, the city says 90,000 migrants have arrived since last spring. Of those, nearly 55,000 are currently in the city's care. 300 to 500 more are arriving every single day. And the city has opened more than 185 emergency shelters since this crisis began. 